This week in Nerf, we've got new competition for the rival line, the return of Orange Modworks, and a Christmas toy giveaway. I'm Jangle, and this is your source for first party, third party, and community Nerf news. Jumping right on in, on Reddit this last week, Luofi034 posted that they found some links to some new Adventure Force blasters, namely the Titanium Ball Blaster and the Accelerator Motorize Ball Blaster. Both of these are rival adjacent blasters. Uh, the Titanium is similar to the Powerball in that it's a pump powered, uh, holds a small hopper of eight rounds and has good performance. And it's going for $17 is the price it should be listed for when it launches. It is spring powered, it is uh, claiming up to 100 feet per second as with the Accelerator as well. The more interesting one to me is definitely the Accelerator as it has a 25 round hopper on it is essentially a better Zeus is what it looks like to me. At 100 FPS, holds 25 rounds, uh, will have an easier and better reload more than likely than the Zeus does. It's going to be smaller than a Nemesis and lighter than a Nemesis. So if you don't want the big heft and bulk of a Nemesis, but do want something hopper fed, this may be a way to go. And who knows how people are going to expand these hoppers in sleek designs or better designs. This is just to me, great. I am super excited. The accelerator is going to be $30 retail, which is a really good price for what it is in my mind. I am very much looking forward to picking one of these up and giving it a go. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm really, really excited about the way that they're going about this and that they are giving competition to the rival sector of the foam blaster area. And uh, I think it's really cool. One of the little things that someone noticed in uh, the comments is actually that both of these blasters appear to have interchangeable plates with team colors on them to kind of keep in line with that rival aesthetic of red versus blue and you pick your team and all that. This kind of goes hand in hand with that. They also have a mask coming out that will be $10 and that appears to have the interchangeable colors as well. So that's, that's really good thinking out on their part to kind of keep things in line with the rival line, but also offer a, uh, a different option, a competitor's choice to just the rival brand, just the Hasbro brand. So I'm super excited for these. Really, really curious to see them when they hit the shelves and see if they do perform up to what we've expected uh, from the previous offering that we've seen on the Target shelves for a while now that people have really, really enjoyed. So keep your eyes out for that. When, uh, when we do see them, I will let you all know, of course. Now, Orange Mod Works went silent for a while and uh, people kind of, I think, were writing them off and thinking that they were just def dead or defunct or no longer uh, around. And uh, apparently it seems they may have been hit by Hurricane Harvey uh, is what I'd heard by some people. I don't know if that's true or not 100%, but uh, they did post a video over the weekend, over the Black Friday weekend, talking about some of their sales, but more importantly, talking about what's new. And there is a fair amount coming out from Orange Modworks in the future. They've actually added three new um, brands or lines that they are using to uh, promote their products moving forward. We have Core, Wacky, and Workshop. Now, Core is essentially right now Springs. Uh, that's what's going to be available at the start, and they come in Standard and Overload. Standard is going to be stuff that your blaster can handle generally without any crazy modifications. Overload is going to be the heavier stuff that will likely require some kind of reinforcement, new parts, things like that, but you really want to push those limits like your, your, your 20 kilogram long shot springs essentially. That kind of stuff is the overload line. Wacky is actually kind of what I'm most excited about, and that's their apparel and patches and whatnot line. Uh, and of course, I said patches, which means I'm going to be very excited for those. Patches are something I love just because they're fun and they're thing you could stick them on your gear, stick them on your wall, you know, just things to kind of show what you like, what you support, and things like that. And uh, that is one of the things they're doing with these is a line of patches of different sizes, different. Um, emblems of their own design and use that they have had for a while or are creating and stuff for HVZ as well. So that to me is one of the more interesting parts that they're, they're branching out into that territory as well. And Workshop is hardware essentially. Things like plunger tubes, barrels, catch springs, 
um, grease, lithium grease, stuff, stuff like that. Stuff that you'll, you'll want to have on hand for your projects, essentially. Uh, now, I know Orange Mod Works has had a less than stellar reputation in the past in terms of delivering on products in a timely manner and products maybe not being as good as they could be, but they are a long and storied company in our community and I'm glad they are still around and I hope they will continue to improve with these new lines and we will see a uh, revived and revamped Orange Mod Works producing better and better quality for the community as we've come to expect now in, in you know 2017 and beyond, we are getting better and better quality. So for a company to keep up, they're going to have to offer that better and better quality. So I'm very much hoping that that is what we will see from Orange Mob Works. So fingers crossed, I think I'm gonna be optimistic and say they can do it. And I'm looking forward to what they produce in the future. Our last topic of business today is something that comes from the UK, and these are Bulldog Flywheels. Now, these have been developed by UK Nerf War, who has been working on them for the last three years and has finally been able to put them into production, and they are now available for purchase. They're going to go for £10 plus shipping. Uh, that is the British pound, not the US dollar, so keep that in mind. Uh, and they weigh at 7.25 grams. Uh, an outer diameter of 34.92 millimeters and an inner diameter of 33.82 millimeters. Uh, now there are some small tolerances that could be taken into account that are listed on the website that there may be slight, slight variations in the machining. Uh, I believe these are acetyl uh, CNC wheels. Now I, I like these for a couple reasons. One is that they are another option for overseas nerfers in the UK, Europe, places like that. They have flywheels that are uh, easier access for them. They don't have to pay for overseas shipping, which is always nice. You know, you don't always want to pay that big shipping cost depending on how big your order is if you're trying to get other things on top of those flywheels. The other reason is these seem to be doing fairly well in terms of performance. Uh, there is a post where these were tested with a uh, 43 millimeter OFP cage with Michelle 2.0s on a 2S with 60 fresh elites and they averaged 138 FPS. Now, we know that elites tend to run a bit hot compared to a lot of the darts we use in aftermarket games and things like that, but uh, the fact that this is with a 43 millimeter cage and not a 42 or 42.5 or things like that uh, is a good sign to me. I, I like that. These aren't going to, you know, push the limits of what you can get in FPS. These aren't going to be your Eclipse system wheels or things, you know, like that. But these look like they could be a good and solid super stock option. So I am looking forward to getting my hands on them. And when I do, I will be doing a video most likely testing out uh, how they perform with different uh, a different crush than the test we have and different darts. So look forward to that. Now the link to all of the information on those Bulldog flywheels as well as where to purchase them will be down below. But let's go ahead and jump to our mod of the week, which comes to us this week from Buff Daddy Nerf. This, this is just cool. Like this is just cool. This is the Terra Nemesis. This is a, a Terra Scout with a nemesis on it. Instead of a rapid strike pusher flywheel thing on there, he chopped it off, took the wiring, and rewired it to use the nemesis. And it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful monstrosity. This thing is uh, hefty. And as he talks about in his video, which will be down below linked to this, that goes over it, um, it, is, it is a heavy beast, but the fact that he was able to get the camera working still so you can see where you're aiming and see where you're shooting and uh, and just make the nemesis work as a drone, as a little little, little tank that floats around or, or drives around the field and gets to shoot at people. I think it's so cool. This is one of the more entertaining things I've seen out of the Nerf community in a little while and I love it and I, I, I hope we get footage of it somewhere sometime at a game tagging people out because I think it's absolutely awesome. So go check out the video to see the firing demo and the explanation of how he went through the entire process because it was uh, not the simplest of processes but a very cool one nonetheless. Last up we have our video of the week which comes to us from Clowny Nerf this week, and Clowny is doing his second annual Christmas toy, uh, Christmas toy drive giveaway. This is a, comp a contest where you enter 
by donating a toy, donating new toys to a Christmas drive, a toy drive for those that are in need. And I think this is absolutely wonderful that he is trying to promote this and promote doing something good and doing something nice for others that may, you know, be in a rough patch and may need help uh, providing during the Christmas time, you know, with the, with, with the fun things, the little things, that the toys that bring the great memories of those Christmas days and, and, and months and everything. So I think it's fantastic that he has taken the time to do this. And on top of that, for the contest, for everyone that enters, which he'll have all the details of how to enter and everything on his channel in his video, which will be linked, of course, um, the winner not only will get, you know, his, his, his giveaway bag of, of treats and tricks and whatnot, but, uh, he is giving away a nemesis, a new inbox nemesis. And that's, that's no small toy. That is, that is a big prize. And, uh, well, if you want to make your own Terra nemesis, there you go. Enter, enter Clowney's contest, do some good for someone else. Spread the love because I think it's absolutely fantastic. That video is going to be right over here because we are at the end of the video. Please check this one out. Go, go, give, do something wonderful. Uh, let me know what you think of everything in today's video. And uh, if you're new to the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button for in the future. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.